Right, welcome back, San Diego. Well, she has shed about 100 pounds, is in training to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, and sharing home designs to help others get healthy. So wellness design consultant, author of Wellness by Design, a room-by-room -room guide to optimizing your home for health, fitness, and happiness. Jamie Gold, it's so good to have you here this morning. Good morning to you. To be here. And Jamie, so let's talk about your story. It's quite incredible. And then explain to us how you got into all of this. First, give us a little bit of your background. Well, I was uh, an executive and realized that I didn't enjoy that. I wanted to do something more fun and creative. So I got into design. And one of my inspirations for that was my lovely grandmother, whose picture is on the mantle behind me. And like so many other seniors, she had physical limitations. So I got into design to help others of you know older age deal with those types of issues and accessibility and safety. And I realized that the suggestions I was making for older clients as a designer would help people of all ages, including myself. Mm. Uh, another thing that I realized as I went along was that, that Whenever I would spend a great deal of time in my kitchen, as so many people do, you know, helping to prepare for family dinners and special occasions. But by the end of the evening, my back would be aching, my feet, my legs, my hips, all of it. And I realized that it was standing all those hours on tile floors that was doing it. Okay. The tile is a great material. I love it. I specify it often for clients, but it is extremely hard and unforgiving. So I realized that an anti-fatigue mat could help me. I got one. It was a game changer. And it's something that I suggest to a lot of clients and readers too. Yeah, to hear and about your weight loss journey, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, that's amazing. And then it's remarkable to think that your home can help you with those types of goals. Explain that. It can. Well, for example, when you spend a lot of time you know, doing strenuous activities, whether it's hiking or training for marathons or any of the other things that I've done and I know a lot of people in San Diego do as well, then you want your home to be as supportive of your health as you can. And one of those things is, you know, supporting your joints and nurturing muscles. After a long day on the trail, I love to use my handheld massaging shower head and just aim that at whatever muscle group is aching at that particular moment you know right now a lot of people have um, spas that they have access to that might be closed so that form of hydrotherapy can be relieving too and just you know having your home is set up in a way that supports health and fitness is important if people are working out from home there are so many ways being able to prepare healthy meals in your kitchen having it be a welcoming place having just um if you're making more meals than usual right now, a multi-cooker or a convection steam oven that can sit on the countertop or extra capacity with an induction cooktop, all those things can help you just prepare healthy meals and work out at home and you know, be supportive of your health and your family's health. Wellness design, I love um, that just concept right now, especially these days, so many people stuck at home. I mean, why is it so important right now to be discussing this? Well, it is, as you mentioned, so many people are doing more things at home right now. We're spending more hours at home. Many people are working from home. Uh, your children might be home studying. Uh, your college kids might be back from campus. And so you have more people in the house right now. And one of the things that you could do is just declutter the hardest working spaces. If you have a lot of people congregating in your dining area, you know, doing things, make sure there are fewer trip hazards. And that's particularly important if you have any seniors that are back in your home that you're caring for. But just in general, that's a free way to make your home safer and healthier is to declutter and remove trip hazards. I love that. I know we do have to go here, but real quick, Jamie, if you could give us some quick, simple tips to add wellness to their homes right now, what can we just do real quick to just kind of change our, our ways? <laughs> well, I would say orient your home toward nature. If you have views of trees and nature outside your window, orient your furniture toward that. If you don't, bring in elements like you know, house plants, which are 
you know, great for creating a calm atmosphere and can also help purify your air, which is especially important right now. So that's one, you know, easy way to do it. Create a calm space for yourself at home. That could be very challenging for people, but if you find a space, a corner that's quiet, add in some natural elements, add in some comfort items that you love, that can just create a quiet zone for you to depressure, just to de-stress and, right. and add calmness and wellness to your space, which I think we all need right now. Oh, we certainly do. That's for just listening to you talk about calmness helps me. <laughs> Jamie, thank you very much. JamieGold.net is the website. She has a book out now. So if you want any other great advice here, you can definitely want to check that out. Jamie, it's good to have you on this morning. Stella, we'll send it thank over to you. Thank you so much.